Hey, this is Luke with another Android Guys podcast. I'm here with Scott. I didn't think you could see me over here. I see you. I'm, How you doing, man? I'm doing great. Awesome. You have uh, you have a review for us. Yes, it is my turn to talk about something. What do you have? I'm going to talk about that giant battery thing over there oh. on, on that case. Th- that, Which one? <laughs> the big one on the end, the Ace Volt. Okay. This is the uh, Ace Volt Camp Power 2000. Mm-hmm. This is a... I mean, talk about portable power. Mm-hmm. You know, I think generally people think of little bricks that they carry around to back up their, you know, for their phone. Yeah, hey, carry I, them in your backpack or something. Yeah, I might run low and I need to charge up while I'm out. Mm-hmm. I might need, uh, you know, an emergency situation for my tablet or. This will make sure I can spend my whole day in the park catching all my Pokemons. Yeah. But there's a whole other world of power beyond that. Yeah. Um, this is Ace Volt. This is the first time I've actually spent any time with this particular brand. Okay. And looking at them, they've only got a couple of different models, but they have, um, basically these are, this is a 40, I want to say seven, like 47 pound. It is a block. Yeah. These are the types of batteries, portable power solutions that you have for, you know, in the name camp power. So yeah. if you go camping, this is the kind of thing that you want to have with you to, say, plug in um, maybe a mini fridge mm-hmm. or a blender or some kind of uh, air mattress or air something. mattress to blow up. If you've got, you know, you want to take your phones and your devices with you. If you want to plug in to charge up your other portable stuff. Floodlights. Yep. <laughs> Anything. Uh, projectors. Yeah. You know, a lot of people like to take those with them. Mm-hmm. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about this guy. Okay. Um, it has a ton of input, yeah, uh, or I should say input and output uh-huh. uh, options. So if let's talk about plugging in, like what, okay. what kind of ports do we have? So you've got, um, a pair of USB C three. Okay. And these are uh power delivery 3.0. PD. Yeah. You've got a pair of USB A mm-hmm. quick charge mm-hmm. 3.0. You've got a pair of USB A. Okay. That don't have the quick charge, but they can have like the five volt right. 2.4. And you also have a pair of uh, 12 volt, basically uh, AC adapter. Uh huh. Plug yeah. in. You've got a car port. Oh, so wow. So if you have something yeah. that like maybe your, um, like to inflate your inner tubes or yeah. whatever. Plug into that. And then you've also got, I believe, one other one. Um, you've got a total of six. So those are two DC output. Then you've got six AC output. Mm-hmm. So you've got a ton of things that you can plug in. Yes. Yeah. And you can plug them all in at yeah. the same time. You can, yeah. I mean, obviously, you're going to go through the battery quicker. But sure. um, now when it comes to, yeah, it's 48 and a half pounds here. Uh Plugging it in, mm-hmm. you can charge it up. There are multiple ways. There's a wall outlet. Mm-hmm. You've got the car port. Mm-hmm. So you can actually use your car to charge it yeah. if you need to. And then you've got solar panel ports. Right. So okay. if you want to plug those in, if you're out camping, you can do that as well. So it's kind of, I mean, if you look at it, pick it up, it's giant batteries yeah. inside of that thing. It is uh, also something that you might want to consider um during you know hurricane season sure so that's something for some people they might have learned the the hard way mm-hmm. the last couple of months what it's like to be without power mm-hmm. and as we head into the winter then you're going to have like wind and ice storms yep. and snowstorms and these are the types of devices that they're going to hold their charge for a long time yeah and they're going to be good to kind of give you um some peace of mind mm mm-hmm. mhm but also some flexibility that if you do go camping, if you do, I mean, you can just throw it in the bed of a truck. Right. Pack it up. Um, yeah, it's not, I wouldn't say it's necessarily rugged, but it's not, uh, it doesn't feel breakable. You know, it's got a couple of handles on top. Uh-huh. So you can pick it up and carry it a little easier, like carrying around like a full cooler. Yeah. Um, it does, it is rated to work in temperatures of 14 degrees Fahrenheit to 104. Wow. So... Pretty wide range. Yeah. It's not weather resistant. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
it's not going to be water resistant or waterproof. But if you're outside camping, you, it'll be there when you are. Mm -hmm. You're probably not going to camp and temperatures hotter or colder than that. Sure. Uh, another thing that I really like about this guy is it has a 24 month warranty. Oh, nice. So it's back for two years. And again, this is a brand that I had not yeah. spent any time with, but in the few weeks that I've kind of kicked it around, used it a little bit here in the office. Um, I, I like it. Yeah. It's, it's a practical, uh, the more I spend time with these, the more I kind of think of like, how would I use this? Yeah. More use cases. Now, uh, two questions. Does it come with the solar panels for recharging? It does not come with. Okay. They do sell them. Uh -huh. uh, you can pick them up from their website. They have uh solar panel 100 and a solar panel 200. I'm going to see what the difference are. Okay. Look about, about $400 for the panel. Okay. And I believe that's a universal adapter. Gotcha. So if you already have that, it you might be, might be right. okay. Yeah. Uh, and then the next question is, is this one rated to be able to run an appliance in an emergency? So it will, it's not going to be like your home, um, you know, you're out of power and they don't expect to be back on for two days. You're not going to do. You're not going to plug the fridge into it or something fridge like that. The microwave and everything else. But you can plug in different things like a, like a microwave. Uh-huh. Uh, a mini cooler, you can run a hairdryer on it. So okay. some of these things that are kind of high demand. Yeah, take a little bit more um, wattage or voltage, yeah. one of those things. It'll handle that. Yep. So uh, on their website, they show um, like a toaster, okay, electric kettle, hairdryer, electric grill, mm. um, a blender. And they do also list like, for instance, like how long you can get. Uh, for me, I typically like to think of like portable ones that I carry in my pocket. How many charges am I going to get out of this compared to my phone? Sure. I know that this has 4,500 milliamps and this thing that I'm carrying has 10,000. So theoretically, I'm getting two more charges with it. Right. That type of thing. Uh, on their website, they list, uh, for instance, for an iPhone 12, they show it has enough battery to do 154 charges. Wow. Uh, but if you mix and match that over things like laptops and mm -hmm. tablets and, you know, if power goes out and everybody in the family, you can all plug your phones in at the same time. Right. Some of them, you know, through the AC adapter or plugs and then some through USB-C, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, coffee maker, uh, you can do 18 pots off of that. Wow. Um, another thing that uh, I hadn't really thought about that's also uh, – Nice to have it would be, uh, for instance, for CPAP machines for people who, sure. if the power goes out, that's very important to them yeah. that they continue to have that when yeah. they go to sleep. Um, microwave oven, it says about 102 minutes. So if you're throwing a couple of meals in there, four or five minutes at a time. Right. Yeah. That's quite a know, bit. Yeah. So you can mix and match that uh, and get quite a bit out of that thing. Yeah. So with that comes a pretty hefty price tag okay you're looking at about fifteen hundred dollars okay for one of these okay however that is not unreasonably priced based off of what other right in this in this market of uh you know these bigger batteries that handle a lot more capacity a lot more yeah different uh things that you can run off of them the price point obviously goes up on on that right and you can find some that are going to be uh, maybe not as many, maybe one AC outlet and one USB-C, sure. those types of things. Some of them don't have power delivery. They may not have, um, you know, quite the size of that. Uh, the One thing that I didn't mention, but you can tell by looking at it, it's got this uh, display mm -hmm. that shows you what's running. Oh, okay. And you can see, like, what kind of wattage, what is actually being used yeah. and at what rate. So you can kind of see the demand or the load. Yeah. You're like, oh, maybe we might want to unplug a couple of these things. Right. Um, it's pretty nice. I, I, I like it. I, I've i tried, you know, like Jackery and Blue Eddy and a couple mm -hmm. of other brands. And mm -hmm. I, I feel like this one is just as good for my mm -hmm. needs. Uh, I like the fact that it has so many options. It is, you know, for my personal needs, it might be more than sure what i necessarily want or need right but i would rather have it and not use it yeah than to need it 
and wish I had it. Sure. So, uh, yeah, Ace Volt is the brand. And you can get it for $14.99 right now. And then you can also get it bundled with the uh, solar panels. Mm -hmm. The 100 watt solar panel looks like $300. And then there's a 200 watt one. Looks like $500. Okay. So you have options to pick those up. Now, they also have on their website, there is a Camp Power 700, which is probably going to be more in the lines for like your everyman. Mm -hmm. uh, I talked to my son about these types of things, and he immediately is like, oh, I would take this fishing with me every time I go camping. Right. Yeah, yeah. I love to go hammock and do, you know, so he sees it as this would give me power places that I don't normally have power. Sure. Um, and, you know, growing up, we used to go camping and at the, uh, the campgrounds that we went to, there was one particular kind of section that had power and mm -hmm. everything else was kind of like not roughing it, but you just didn't have power. Right. Where something like this, you know, you would have more than enough power for your radio. Yeah. Your... I mean, if you're, if you're careful about it, that'll get you through the weekend. No problem. Easily. Yeah. And then with the ability to plug it in, to your car, right. keep it going, or to set out some solar panels, right? You pretty much have unlimited power while you're yeah. out camping. Maybe something to think about if you're, you know, traveling, you know, living the uh, the, van the van life, life yeah, something man, like that. It is. Yep. Uh, talking to one of the guys that writes for us, and he's like, "Man, I'm, you know, we talk about how appealing that is, yeah, to just kind of live out of that and you know." live off the grid, but still have the power you need. Right. Uh, that's, yeah, that's exactly what this type of thing is, is, you know, keep it charged mm -hmm. and pull it out when you need it and take it over to the beach. Or if you set up and camp a little bit, you know, that's, that's your power solution. Right. Yeah. And then you pair that with a, a 24 month warranty. Yeah. You know, you're, it's a, it's a big upfront investment, but you know that they're going to back you for two years with it too. So. Right, and and there's the idea of like not having to worry about, you know, electric and paying for electric because yeah. you know again like going back to the camping thing, that might have been at the time you know where every other lot was eight dollars a night back in the eighties. It right. was probably sixteen or twenty dollars. Yeah, you know, and then with inflation now you're right. you're probably looking at thirty bucks a night. Right. or so you do that a couple times for a couple weeks. You know, and you start spending a couple hundred dollars, you're like, no, nah, man, this is the flexibility. I can camp anywhere yep. without having to worry about that. Yep. So, yep, Ace Volt, and that's how you would think is A-C-E-V-O-L-T, and that's the Camp Power 2000. Awesome. Thanks, Scott. You're welcome. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. Thanks for listening. We appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, feedback, concerns, comments, anything, shoot us an email at podcast at androidguys.com. We'd love to hear from you one way or the other. Uh, Luke, if someone wants to get a hold of you, how do yeah. they do that? Uh, I am on Instagram and Twitter at Luke Gall, G-A-U-L. And I'm on Instagram at Scott Webster and Twitter as SWebster77. Until next time, thanks for listening. See ya.